uh, good to see everyone. Hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving and a uh, long weekend. Uh, excited to get going again. We uh, brought our team back in on Saturday, uh, had a evening practice, a little bit different than normal on Saturday. Yesterday we utilized it just for training room, uh, and then today we're going to crank it back up with practices. Uh, we'll go a little bit earlier and a little bit longer than maybe normal on a Monday. Um, there's not all the meetings that we have to have that we normally are trying to put a game to, to bed. Uh, now we're trying to get it cranked back up. And um, I was excited about our energy on Saturday, and I look forward to getting back out there. We've got a, a heck of a football team that we're going to have to play. Uh, Southern Illinois has a, a ton of talent. You just watch them uh, play. Uh, I, I think they're better than their record shows. Um, we're going to have to have a really good week, have a great plan on both sides of the football and execute at a high level. Uh, you look at the offensive side of the football, I think both Lenore and, Co and Cox, um, and really you can just say their entire wide receiver group uh, might be the most talented group in the league. Uh, they're their quarterback, uh, Nick Baker, um, from Rochester, Illinois, uh, a, a school that has tremendous amount of success. I know he's a state champ, probably won a couple state championships as a high school quarterback, but uh, has a ton of moxie and, and just wins. And you got to do a great job of containing him. Uh, he'll change his arm slot. He'll make some throws. He'll do some things, uh, avoiding pressure. So we got to do a great job of, of keeping him in the pocket. And then uh, they got a, a number of backs that really get downhill on you. And we're going to have to be great tacklers on Saturday. Defensively, going to operate out of a, out of a four down quarters. Uh, going to bring some pressure from the field, um, primarily some smoke, some 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 spear, but. Uh, they're good. They're solid. I think Quan Brown, uh, you know, he's their field safety. When you get two extended, he kind of plays into the boundary with three extended, but he's a playmaker. He can cover some grass. Uh, a really good football player. Uh, number 54, their linebacker, uh, is it Notri? Notri uh, was gone for a little bit. You can tell he made an impact right away being back this weekend. So um, it's going to be a big contest. Uh, and, and the minute we saw the bracket, we knew it was going to be a tough one regardless of who we're playing, uh, just the fact that we're playing another Missouri Valley team. With that, I'll open it up for questions, guys. What was the reaction like from the guys that you've seen so far? We saw Jalen on Saturday tweet out the date from your guys' game in the spring, but what was kind of the reaction you've seen so far once they learned that it was going to be Southern? Uh, I really haven't seen anything different. Uh, we went out there. We haven't even addressed that we're playing Southern, which is the idea that everyone in – our team watched the end of the game just because we were kind of holding off the start of practice until we knew exactly who was going to be the winner. Um, and with the score of the game, we ended up watching the entire thing. So I haven't addressed the team. I probably won't. Uh, it's just next game, and we got to be prepared. Uh, we got to all the things that we've tried to do every week this season. Uh, we got to try to start fast. We got to be efficient. We got to get people off the field. We got to tackle well. We got to be fundamentally better than our opponent. And how similar they are to, I know it's spring, but how similar they are to that game in February to what you're going to see on Saturday? I think there's some similarities, definitely. I mean, you look down the roster, there's a lot of names that uh, are familiar from the spring. Uh, I think they're a really good football team, and as I said before, uh, I think they're better than their record. Yeah, any healthier? I mean, that you know of, for sure, guys you will have available on Saturday that you didn't? Well, there, there weren't many guys that, that weren't available on Saturday, so uh, I anticipate, well, you know, I th you're asking about Hunter Lipke. He, he, I believe he's going to be available at this time right now. Otherwise, uh, the only ones that I would know that would be definitely out are going to be Spence, who's going to be out the entire season. Otherwise, I think from just a longevity banged up, bruises, some chronic things that guys are dealing with, I think we're in a lot better shape just because we were able to give them Thursday, Friday. Jake Lippy. Uh, Jake Lippy, yeah. uh, he has a, a low back issue right now. Yeah. So we're taking it day by day and, and trying to find out what the, the best treatment is for him. But he, he's getting better. Uh, unfortunately, it's extremely slow moving. A lot of three and outs last spring. Um, you look at that thing and do something different offensively, or what do you take from that? That they were better than us on that day. Uh, they whipped us up and down the field. and uh, So what we need to do is we need to be more efficient on early downs, do a better job of trying to get in some shorter third downs so we can stay on the field. Uh, it was interesting. I thought in the spring, uh, and I thought they did the same thing against South Dakota. I thought they did a great job of managing the game. Uh, they have the ability to go tempo. I thought they slowed down. Uh, they probably didn't want to have to defend 70 plays against South Dakota. I thought in the spring they did a great job of keeping our offense off the field and extending plays. So we got to be good on both sides, but we got to find ways to get them off the field. And in the spring, I thought we struggled at that. 
How has Nick Baker evolved from a player you saw there to the guy who started every game for him this year? You know, Dom, I, I haven't really seen him play a whole bunch, but except the last many three days, uh, it was one of those years where we didn't have a lot of crossover film where I was watching their offense. I might have been watching Illinois State's defense because of our opponent. Um, I still see him extremely savvy in the pocket. Uh, like I said before, I think he has a lot of confidence. He plays with some moxie. Uh, I think the kids around him trust it, that he's going to make the right decision. He's going to make the right throws. Um, he's good with the football uh, in his hands or, or delivering it to someone else. And he's got some really good uh, skill kids to get it to. Revenge game feel for this one? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Is there a revenge game feel for this one? I haven't talked about it. It's, it's the next game. That's the one we need to win. Specific development points you guys were going over in the last two weeks. Any, anything specifically you guys were honed in on trying to get better at? Uh, you know, I think the fundamental part of it, I, I think uh, what you've seen us do offensively the last couple of weeks, trying to continue to stay with that thought process. Uh, I think we've chiseled down a little bit of the playbook um, so we can just play faster. Uh, not saying that we're not going to be in a whole bunch of formations. You're not going to see trade shift motion. Um, but putting in our players in situations to be successful. Uh, one of the things we did this week is try to give extra reps to some of the guys who might be backups. Dom Jones would be one, got a lot of reps. Logan Kopp, who's kind of come on later in the year defensively, got a lot of reps. Um, Westy getting more reps, taking some off some of our starters. Uh, you know, Cordell. Not nearly as many. Mason Miller need the reps. So you know, our emphasis was trying to make sure that our depth was in a good situation. How much does it help Cam now to have starts in the regular season going into the playoffs versus last spring? I think the more starts, the better. I think you can never, you, you can never minimize the value of game day reps. Uh, it doesn't matter what position, if you're a quarterback or if you're a, a running back, an offensive lineman. Uh, practice reps are tremendous. You're trying to emulate the game. You're trying to replicate what you're going to see on Saturday. But getting out there and playing under the lights in front of a crowd, uh, having to go through the communication that happens on game day, you, you can never, never have enough of those. And so, of course, the, the more times you get to play on Saturday, the better you should be. Quincy's all the way back with, with his shoulder. Is he all uh, the way back? I, I think he's getting really close um, to the, you know, have to continue to see just kind of how, how the ball's coming out of his hands. And, um, you know, from a, from a mental standpoint, he's locked in, ready to go. Um, we just got to make sure that, that he is good to go from a, being able to be multifaceted when he gets out there. Something to, uh, you got a manager recruiting here too. It's <laughs> not too far away. And yep. I see a lot of guys with commitments on Twitter. How do you, man? That's a lot of guys. Yep. It is. We, we, got a, we got a big staff and uh, put a lot of that on our, our recruiting staff. They got to do a great job of staying in touch. Um, you know, I think uh, there's probably people in our office who have access to every coach's Twitter. So a lot of times you might, you, you're getting contacted by our staff, um, trying to stay up on things, making sure that, that uh, you know, we're trying to schedule some official visits right now, trying to get those incorporated. Um, there are a lot of irons in the fire, but it's a good situation to have. Uh, and it, it, you know, I guess preparing for a game is better than being out on the road right now. Um, all of our recruits know that, that we're still preparing, and I think they understand. Most of them have been to a couple of two, three games this fall. The guys that got thrown into the playoffs last year, Cole Wisniewski, Cam Miller, how much do you think that will help? I know it was different being in the spring, but they've played playoff football to now be asked to have bigger roles come Saturday. Oh, I think it'll help. Uh, I think they, the urgency, uh, the excitement of it um, will still be there. May not be quite as much for a first-time starter as it was, uh, you know, for a guy who, who has experience or, or has been in those situations before. But, you know, I go back to my first year here, 2014. Um, yeah, I remember Colton Hegel and Christian Dudzik getting excited about playoff football. Um, and that's the challenge. we we got to take it to another level. Uh, another level of speed and physicality and all the things that we hang our hat on. All right. Thanks, guys.